All right, so three, two, one. Welcome to the call. The Wiz, the Magician, the Sage, Mubu. How are you, brother? I'm doing absolutely amazing, man. Thank you so much for for having me on today, man. Dude, that was a fantastic intro, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was. <laughs> you know, everyone's always saying the man, the myth, the legend. I even I've overused that one. You completely flipped <laughs> that one around. That works, bro. <laughs> Dude, you are the Wiz of Ecom. You've taken uh, the internet by storm, money Twitter by storm. You call yourself the Wiz of Ecom, but you know more about agency, business, and community than anyone that I know. Uh, but I guess you had to find your positioning, but it's just go so much more beyond e-com. So that's that's how people know you, right? I had to say Wiz. Absolutely, right? Like I came into the space talking only e-com. If you look at my 2020 value, it was straight e-commerce, this, straight product page, that, Facebook ad tips, et cetera. And then I just started to pivot. And and then I went all the way into whiz of everything, right? Whiz of <laughs> I literally my my name was whiz of everything at one point. I was talking NFTs, I was talking e <laughs> talking agency, but we narrowed in. Man. We narrowed in. And you killed it, dude. You're doing absolutely fantastic. Give give Thank people you. a little bit of context of where you are right now in 2024. Uh, exactly what companies you run and what do you do, and then we can segue into how we've been working together and and the help with I, I have been honored to provide you. For sure. So 2024 is the year of clarity for me. Uh, throughout the past six to eight months, um, and realistically for the past three and a half plus years, I've been trying to find my footing, right? I left a big partnership a few years ago where we were doing everything. We we're running 15 companies at once from SaaS, e-com, agency, um, Shopify apps. And when I left that and I had to go on my, my own, I was testing everything as well too, thinking that's the only route to go in. And that was um, a plague in my mind that was destroying me. I wasn't able to focus. So I, I built companies, I built SaaSes throughout the past two years. I've built multiple agencies. I've taken equity deals in people's companies and I was just losing my mind doing a bit of everything, if I'm being honest, right? I was able to build this presence powerfully, which is so cool. I've, been, I've built a name for myself completely anonymously and I broke that add on status. And the reason I broke it is through conviction conviction over and you and I spoke about this you helped me come over the, uh, the mental hurdle but the conviction in what I'm specifically selling right now which is an agency offer a program that's related to the same outcome of the agency offer and then a community for beginners on how to start their online business so I'm 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 an individual who practices what they preach I'm not one that has 80 percent of their revenue selling something that isn't a, even a part of the industry anymore, right? Mm -hmm. There's people like you and I who 80% of our revenue comes in from what we preach, right? Exactly. And we're actually integrating it ourselves versus those who their entire net worth is based off of selling these uh, these products where they they aren't either, it's either dated or selling something old and I'm not trying to be like that. So I'm, I'm focused on basically two routes, but three different businesses. And then of course my own investments as well too. Absolutely. Solid uh, figure business. Now tell us exactly why do we engage? What work are we were tasked to do in the beginning, you and I? What what was our collaboration about and how has that evolved? So I thought, and I'll be honest with you, I think this is kind of going to hurt, and but I, I think a lot of people would resonate is no. I thought there was a lot of mumbo jumbo when it came to <laughs> performance coaching, right? <laughs> and and like let's let's dive into that. What is this mumbo jumbo that that I thought of for a decade of my life, right? Mm -hmm. And it's I, I thought I thought this would just be a glorified motivational call, a glorified <laughs> motivational strategy. And that's because ninety nine percent of the performance coaches out there don't have any business experience. They are they are completely based off motivation. Oh, you can do this. It's a tough <laughs> time, but believe in yourself. There is no real psychological research. There is no spiritual understanding of research in multiple religions, studying multiple religions and being able to extract the most valuable points from each of them and use them as solutions for, for what you're going through. Mm -hmm. And then number three is an individual who actually understands scaling and operations and, and uh, team management and management in general and leadership, et cetera. Those are three aspects of what and what you need to be a performance coach, a successful one. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know anyone who had that until I flew to Spain in 2022. And mm -hmm. I lived there for five months. And I was there 
with a sole goal of trying to scale. And guys, I, I need you guys to understand, I was going through the same problem for three and a half years. I couldn't scale past a specific revenue mark. I could not scale past a specific profit mark. And, and I was telling Leon this in 2022, November, when him and I would work at a, an office space and I would be like, I'm gonna get out of it with these two things. These next four things are gonna solve it. And I'm constantly looking for next month's profits. And that's all I was thinking was, what am I supposed to do next? How am I supposed to make the ends meet next month? How am I supposed to scale by an extra 10, 15% next month? I was losing my freaking mind. So I thought there was a lot of mumbo jumbo until you and I started conversing back and forth. And I had a record month while I was in Spain in December and January of 2022 and 2023. And I came back to Canada. And that record month was, we organized a strategy for one of my launches. You helped me overcome mental barriers. I had the greatest monk mode I've had in my entire freaking life at that period for the, the, the Q4 of 2022. Nothing ever came close to that. And it was a feeling I was chasing for an entire year. All of 2023, it felt like every month was doing incrementally a tiny bit worse all the way until... Um, you and I started talking again. And when when things go bad in business, right? And I'm being very vulnerable here, right? And I'm showing you guys that I, I didn't it. have the I didn't have the most successful year year after year. Yes, I increased every year of what I did in the previous, but not what I was expecting. And when you're at a point where day after day, 24 hours after 24 hours, and you're seeing things slowly slip out of your fingers and it's not clicking as much anymore and you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel, you feel low and it starts eating at your mind. Then doubt starts creeping in. The second voice in my head saying, Mubu, was this actually the right route? Did you take make the right decisions here? You effed up here and you start looking at all of your mistakes that you made. And when, when this starts plaguing your mind, it's not something that can just be overcome on a day because it starts compounding and it starts growing like a snowball. And this was a growing thought for three plus years and it really picked up last year. And then I, I couldn't seem to get out of this loop. And I, I thought I tried so many things. I was reading books. I was listening to other mentors. I was trying to talk to myself. I listened to, to, to spiritual shamans and, and imams and nothing was clicking. And, I, and it was because I had this thought process of, no, I know what I'm talking about because I've done this before, right? And I had this cocky confidence. I know it's not as easy as that. Someone gave me a solution. It's not that simple. So I came to Leon three times and I messaged you. I remember messaging you and I didn't actually move forward with you. I'm like, yeah, it's, I'm like, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. Can we jump on a call? Maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. Until finally you and I did a call after four months of me sitting in the sidelines and and you broke down everything what's going on in my life and in my mind because you've known me for a little bit at this point mm -hmm. and that first call i made a vow to myself mubu you do not know everything blindly follow what leon is saying so i did it you and i haven't had a crazy amount of calls what do we do two calls a month right what do we do we we probably done a total of 12 calls at this point now the entire yeah. trajectory of my life from a personal standpoint to, to my, my loved ones and how I treat them to how I lead my businesses to the growth of my businesses has completely 180. And I'm not just saying this because you and I are on this interview. I've said this to countless people. My girl knows this. Every time I talk to her, she she's recognized a massive, a drastic change. Even right now, I'm going through a very stressful moment. I haven't taken out anything mentally on people where I throw baggage on people and try stressing my, my loved ones out. I keep that to me and I find my solutions and I hold it in and I work with you with it whenever I need to, mm -hmm. which we literally have right after this call is my, my next part of the session. And I've come to the, the acceptance that things will always happen. Things can always break. I don't suck. My systems may suck. And you taught me this. And Jordan Ross, very good friend of mine, also a mentor of mine, taught me systems foundations, but you taught me operational scaling. You taught me operational excellence. You taught me how to win the battle of my mind for the first four or five calls, which was so different for every individual. For my, my version, as I blindly listen, I, I have everything written out on my whiteboard, every big note that you and I have ever had. And I reread that every single day. And there's not a single day I'll go by without uh, internalizing them and I understand them I believe them and you've seen this progress mm -hmm. then from there 
Now we're talking about business scaling. I understand what's going on in the mind, but my businesses, my agency, my program, I run into hurdles, right? Huge hurdles that are out of my control, but I don't blame myself for this now. I now organize ways with you to, to overcome this. My entire positioning for my agency changed. My pricing point for my agency changed. My program was launched. Me breaking my annual on status, the most significant changes I've had were in this journey that we've had together. Mm -hmm. Now, I know a lot of people can say, yeah, but you sat down, you did the work. I wouldn't have known what work to do without you. I wouldn't have, and 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 I know people can say, um, yeah, but I made X amount of money since working with Leon and others can discredit it and say, but um, that's because you sat down and you wrote these out. And no, the direction, I was directionless, right? I could have, I could have tested a hundred more strategies completely away from what I was supposed to be doing. And that's a huge problem, mm -hmm. right? So you gave me the direction. Dude, I'm absolutely honored to hear this and see how much you have evolved in just three, three months and a half together. It's wild. And something that I recall when we first met is how advanced you were in a lot of spiritual and mental performance stuff, right? You were not by any means a blank slate. In fact, you're probably one of the most intelligent, smartest guys I've ever come across, especially at your age, mate. And I was really impressed of how much you knew. So when we start working together, I knew it was going to work because what we needed is to adjust what was already within you in order to make it work, right? That is the Absolutely. beauty of the mind because oftentimes without the underlying reality changing, we can change how we look at it. We can change how we understand ourselves in relation to the thing in order to do different stuff that we were previously blind to. Absolutely. And that's the magic, right? So when people say performance coaching doesn't work, it's like because they, they cannot really fathom an alternate reality because they yeah. don't know how to look at things from different perspectives. But I agree with you Rich, when, on the point. One quick thing there to add, Richard Bandler, the... the um, NLP guy. The NLP, the, the founder of NLP, Neuro Linguistic Pro Programming and Hypnosis. In one of his books, he literally says that. He's like, someone was saying, I, you can't hypnotize me. And he's like, you're right. Right. And the reason he said that is like, if you don't believe that you can be something or do something, then you won't become it and it won't happen for you. If you don't think the performance coaching will work for you, it won't work. Right. It's mm -hmm. just a lot of people shut a door in their minds. Right. And when they shut that door, they don't open it up. And then they're just hurting themselves because they think they know everything. I was that person. You know, what's funny that for the longest time I battled with this, it is a little bit of a, a, like, um, I know your part is because it's very interesting because most of you guys of our, you know, the smartest clients tell me, dude, like you are, you have such a hard business because nobody really realizes how important you are. But of once, we, right, it's like there's so many people out there doing absolutely, you know, things that are not ideal. Said you, but here's the, here's a metaphor. Michael Jordan did not become Michael Jordan on his own. Michael mm -hmm. Phelps did not become the most decorated Olympian on his own. Mm -hmm. Those that want to be Michael Jordan, those that want to be Michael Phelps know they need a coach. Yeah. So my role is to not to convince. Mm -hmm. My role is to prove, if mm -hmm. that makes sense, right? Absolutely. So, but I think you're absolutely right because most people will never really fathom that they can focus for ten hours every day, that they can really have. Oh, so that was key. That was crucial. I follow every single day that ninety minute interval structure, and there's nothing that that beats that. I'm done okay. my work in less amount of time with more potency, better results by just following this. I can throw three times more work that I had, like what would have taken me three weeks to do, I can do it in a week now. And what yeah. the reason for that is because I, I have focus hours. I'm not talking a four hour work week. I'm talking, I wake up in the morning, follow routine, 90 minute work interval, 15 minute break, 90 minute work interval. I no longer take calls until a specific point in my day. Oh, and then I figured out people to hire out for the, the individual calls that were wasting my time, et cetera, et cetera. But that structure that you shared in the 90 minute intervals that changed my, my, my focus. And it couldn't be otherwise because that is literally the latest uh, research what it proves, <laughs> right? I didn't invent it. We just compiled the research and created a protocol. So this is how the human mind works. 90 yeah. minute intervals with pure focus and then make sure that you're able to remove cognitive load, lower your brain waves, act activate the natural healing response of the brain, and then you're back at it again. And once you do it, you know, 7 p.m. comes and you're still fresh. You're not tired. You're not wasting away. Oh, key, key. I am exhausted. I've been exhausted for years. I've been exhausted for <laughs> years, guys. I'm telling you this. And everything now, I am no longer tired at my end of the day of like, 
fatigue, fatigue. I'm naturally tired at the end of the day. I move, I work out. I've been consistently working out now that my shoulders stick. So it's been on the year. I've been working every single week, three times a week. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm not brain fogged throughout the day right and it's because my intervals make sense my my task list they make sense you know like everything just slowly makes sense now of course it makes sense because you're fully optimized and we're still working on it right now yeah but you see how the point that i always make that the business will only scale until the limits of your own self exactly it always proves true right until you break down the limiting belief that is preventing you from moving forward and actually create the routine and the roadmap to take you to that next level, that next level is not going to happen by itself ever. That exactly. never happens, right? And what would you tell someone who might find himself, you know, stuck at a specific revenue level, not really knowing whether if they should try harder, try something different, if performance coaching is for them? Like, what do you think actually engaging with self master is for? What kind of entrepreneur? So, patterns repeat themselves until until you learn the lesson. Patterns repeat themselves until you learn the lesson. And we go through the same lesson through different scenarios and circumstances until we learn what we are meant to learn. If I was given a $10 million a year business today, I would not be able to handle it. And the reason for that is I do not, I am not equipped with the right mindset with the right strategies and stress management capabilities as the current moment. I am equipped for my current business and maybe a little bit more right now. And I am going to constantly, if I didn't have you, repeat the same loop, make the same amount of revenue month over month over month, year over year, because I have not solved whatever lesson it was that I needed to learn mentally. And we are blind to this many times. It's in a blind spot. And we don't look around to actually find out what that's, that lesson may be. So we start trying to test things out of desperation, mm-hmm. right? And we test things. Should I try this? I'm going to try this, this quick strategy. There is no long-term vision thinking. There's nothing that jolts us. And at that point, when you're trying to test out 100 strategies, when that real one strategy was just right in front of you, you wasted two years trying to do things when there was one thing that you should have done all this time that could have been just presented to you. You could have just listened. You could have followed it. You save your time. If you are an individual that is stuck repeating a lesson, stuck at a revenue range, stuck at a mental battle that you are currently irritated with, your own personal avatar is screaming and yelling at you and you can feel yourself fired up um, out of frustration and you know that you, it's time to scale but you haven't been able to then that, that's the moment you you join self-master absolutely right if you have to list the things that you, we've worked together things that we've learned that we've implemented like three or four actually crucial things that you believe are not driving the incredible growth you're having okay so let's talk tangibles Um, Offer optimization and positioning optimization, completely switched that around on nearly doubled my pricing point, closing way better deals, retention has improved. Downsell offer creation because I I sell a transformational program, so I had a problem of retention. 90-day retention is what we had maximum because individuals, when they were done with the program, they don't need us anymore. So we created a downsell offer where people are actually paying for that now. And they retain with us and then I can have some more LTV from these individuals. Then from there, it was expanding my offer to different platforms, not solely relying on one thing anymore. This was crucial and the results have been exceptional. It's only been one and a half months over there. But our clients, $100 million brand owners, our clients, $60 million brand owners, our clients are people doing tens of millions a year from their agencies or info products. All of these individuals absolutely killing it. That's tangible. Let's talk about mental, my own personal mental journey battles, focus and clear. I was lacking on both of those. You helped me um, uh, reduce brain fog and focus on the things that actually mattered and not be tired throughout the day and want to quit throughout the day. Next up is my stress management. I am not the problem. My system may be, may be the problem. How can I improve it? Team management and leadership. How can I empower my team to be stronger and, and improve and, and lead my team? Like this Monday, I didn't join my sprint call. 10 team members, my COO and PM, they managed everything completely. I didn't have to do anything. People are coming to me with their KPIs. People are coming to me with the reports. I don't care. My, my business has been more automated than it's ever been. My products have been stronger than they've ever been, which is amazing. And the most important, I have a vision. 
I have something that wakes me up every day where I'm not obsessed with next month's profits. I'm looking at five years from now. And I think that was the the thing that I, I put this last, even though it was the most important, right? I'm like, everyone cares about the immediate successes, but the most important one for me was the vision. It always is. It always is. Yeah. Because without vision, there's no performance. Also, as the Bible says, uh, without vision, people perish, right? Exactly. Vision is literally the, the cornerstone, the North Star, and the <laughs> everything is directed towards that vision. And when that vision really is purposeful, because mm -hmm. uh, I was talking to one of eight figure client the other day who just saw his, his business and told me, dude, what should I do now? I said, dude, that, that is the wrong question, yeah. right? Like you already have fulfilled all your needs for the rest of your life. Because you imagine, imagine, you know, eight figure exit is not a bad thing to have, right? So it is has to do with who you are, what you're intrinsically wired to see, what is that purpose you're really willing to build? And that is the question. The, sorry, that is exactly. the answer. It's never about exactly. how do I make most money? No, you know, there's no money in the world that can buy out Elon Musk from SpaceX, right? He's not there because of the money. He's there because of his purpose, right? Yeah. So this is the first thing we did. This is the first thing we unlocked and everything just trickled down. And this is why you're killing it. Mobile, my friend, the whiz, the sage, the magician. It's always an absolute pleasure seeing you. Um, glad that we are achieving these results together. And uh, let's keep rocking. Let's do our next session right now too, bro. I want to talk about some more strategies, okay? Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see what's the next step. All right. So I'm going to cut the call. Cheers. Perfect. Take it easy.